Welcome back, internet friends and family. Welcome to Sarky Farm Said Money. Miss Samantha, and obviously, folks, I'm freezing in my house. I'm still cold. So here are some updates to having the snow samples that I took last night. Here's what I found. I am going to be using a lab in Texas. That is all I'm going to say because I want this to be a secure test. We are going to have every metal that they can test for will be tested. That is a price of $25 to $40 per metal. And she said there's about 50 different metals they will test for. They only test for E. coli bacteria. However, I want these two, serratia as well as the uh, globula bacteria, both of those, I want that tested for them. So they're going to work with another lab, send out both, like another sample for both of these bacteria. So that's going to be an additional probably 200 per bacteria. Why? Why do I want these two bacteria? Because these are the bacteria that were used originally in Operation Sea Spray. Now, I read everybody's comments. 100,000 people on this YouTube channel, and I am the moderator that reads every comment. Let me tell you guys this. I want a thorough sample, right? Like, we need to have it done thoroughly, or there's no point in doing it. Because I understand what people are saying. Oh, well, there was snow in 1896, Sam. There was snow in 1960. Do you guys hear yourselves? Like, that's that's twice in 150 years. Twice. And we've had, like, a half inch of snow or an inch of snow and then a hard freeze behind it. That's not uncommon. I said that. But five and a half inches in one day in Southeast Louisiana? Come on now, friends. Especially when I showed you them turning on the next rad, turning on the microwaves, and then the storm just creating over Texas. And everybody's like, oh, but the jet stream. See, they turn their machines on to work with nature so that it makes it more intense. I woke up today with, it was five degrees. My well froze solid, praise God. All that's taken care of. Water's back up and running. It was five degrees last night. Watch. You see this number? That's how cold it got. But it's already going to be 10 degrees tomorrow again. And then we're expected to have another Arctic freeze at the end of this month. Now that's a normal weather pattern. But what they'll do is turn their machines on again to make it a little worse. There are thousands of people across the Gulf states without power in 10 degree weather, folks. That hurts people, especially elderly and livestock. It affects our fields. Now, I'm also going to be sending a sample to LSU and I'm going to let them test it like they would test my well water. So just to give you a heads up, the two testings, right, going to LSU and going to Texas all together is going to be between $700 and $1,400. But if I don't test for everything that I can test for, if I don't have them check for silver iodide, if I don't have them check for salt, then I'm not proving anything. Then it's just my opinion. And that's the problem. We all know something's wrong, or most of us do. And then we still have people that don't believe anything's wrong. But how do you change someone's mind with science? Trust the science, right? <laughs> For some of us, anyway. So I am going to do that. Thank you to the ones of you that have been sending $10 and $20. You guys are amazing, and I appreciate that more than you will ever know because it's going to take all of us to make this happen because what I have decided to do is I'm not even going to open the test. The minute those results come in the mail, I'm going to keep the sealed envelope, and I'm going to open it on a live, and we together are going to read the results for better or for worse. Death do us part, folks. We're in this together. Because if I test my snow and we find out that there was definitely toxins, I'm an organic form. I have to know how to remediate my soil. 
because the food that I grow is known for its nutritional density and its organic compositions. But if they're dumping toxins on me, then I can't claim I'm organic anymore, right? Unless I remediate my soil. On top of that, if I can take those samples, results to somebody at LSU, and then to the ag extension agent, and then to the USDA people that I've worked with for three years in this grant on organic you know, um, market garden, if I can show it, if I can share it, I can make my point. People will listen to me. So this is why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because we all deserve to know what is in the snow. It's not natural. If there is graphene or graphite in it, we have to test specifically for that. And some of those more specific tests could be hundreds of dollars just for that one thing. So I wanted to do this update. I wanted to let you know, I've been busy reaching out to labs, been busy discussing prices, getting emails. People have been calling me. They're gonna have their snow tested off their properties. We can build a picture with this guys because I know some people had their fog tested, all right? And they found some of the same bacteria, these two that were sprayed during Operation Sea Spray. If I find that in my snow, then you see the picture we're building that somebody somewhere is still guinea pigging the American people. I can't send something to President Trump or to Robert Kennedy and be like, hey, I think my, my snow's toxic because it fizzed the microwave when I might, when I nuked it, right? And it wouldn't melt when I put a torch to it. But I can reach out to Robert Kennedy and Donald Trump with 40 pages of, you know, $1,200 of individual testing and say, we've got a real problem, guys. Because you can refute me, but you can't refute a scientific lab that is already got the seal of approval from the government. So I just want to let you guys know that's where we are. That's where we're at. That's where we're going. You and I are going to do this together. If you two are getting your uh, snow tested, you really just want to have it, the metal, the heavy metals and salt. And if you're asking why salt, because a lot of what they use in cloud seeding is coupled with salt or silver iodide. Remember that. I love you guys. We're going to get this done, folks. I'm not joking. The snow's in my refrigerator. The quote for the testing is coming to me, but they can't give me a full quote until they're finished testing because some of it maybe need to be sent off to other labs, yada, yada, yada. And the only way for me to get the results back is to pay the price. So I love you. Thank you guys so much. Our channel's growing so fast. And that is from you amazing people doing your part. We're all not in a position where, say, if you tested your snow, you may not have anybody to share that with. Well, I've got 100,000 people here. I'm gonna share it with you live opening it up in front of you, reading the results. You're going to share that. It's going to get out there, guys. This is how we do it. We fight. We don't give up. We don't just make a snow angel and fall over in the snow and say, I quit. We send our dollar, we send $5, and we send our prayers if that's all we can do, and we share it. Because the ones of you that are in a financial burden and you can't share, I mean, it's anything, I get that, guys. I can't pay for it myself. I have to ask you. I get it, but if you will share these videos, that is worth more money than you could ever send. Because the more people that see it, the more people we wake up, the better we have at stopping this. Because yes, mother nature is brutal. But when you couple that with secret military operations, well, she's downright cruel. Love you guys, like, comment, and share.